Hey guys, what's up? It's Awesome Dan VC here, and today I'll be showing you what to do if your uh, if your 3D resolution and your anti-aliasing settings say uh, DLSS has to be disabled or something like that, and you really want to enable it so you can change from 100 to 25 percent, or just want to mess around with those settings. And so today I'll be showing you two ways you could either fix it, and I'll guarantee you like one of the ways will definitely work for you. And yeah, let's get right into the video. So the first thing you want to do is if you have Razer Cortex, if you don't have Razer Cortex, you can just skip a few seconds in the video or, or a minute or so. But if you do have Razer Cortex, uh, basically you want to go into the Booster Prime section. After you go into Booster Prime, you want to go to the Fortnite section. After going to Fortnite, you want to uh, you want to go f to the like where it says Performance or Quality. And if you look to, to the top right section, it should say revert. You wanna click that and apply all the changes you made. And yeah, that should work. If that did not work, which is the case for me, you're here for the right video. So basically what you wanna do is, uh, if that didn't work for you in Razer Cortex, you wanna click Windows button and R at the same time. You wanna search up percent, local app data percent. You wanna type that and click OK. Then after that, you want to go to Fortnite game, oh, the one that's close quarters. Then you click save, double click it, double click config, double click Windows client. And then here in game user settings, what you want to do is just double click like the name itself and you'll be here, right? And so the thing that actually helped me fix it, because in Fortnite, uh, it should be says DLSS has to be disabled. Right here in the top section, as you guys see, it, the DLSS, DLSS quality Yours probably is a one or, a, or two or something. You want to delete it and put zero. After you change those settings and put it to zero, you want to click file, click save. And then after that, you can just close out percent local app data. Then after that, I do recommend you going to the Epic Games launcher and go uh, near to Fortnite. You want to click the three dots. Uh, there should be three dots here. You click those and then you click verify and then it'll take like maybe if you have good Wi-Fi like 30 seconds if you don't it might take tops five minutes it'll basically just like make your game smoother and stuff and also you don't want to do this while your game is open you want to close your game out first and then you do click verify then you can open your game and your game should be normal and yeah, that's basically it. If you guys have any other issues, be sure to just comment it in the section below. And yeah, I'll be sure to help all of y'all. Alright, thank you for watching. Peace.